Good afternoon. It's always in stitches and what's new Thursday again. Um, you know, there's a lot of exciting things happening in our store. Always something great going on. But right now, we have our Handy Quilter event going on. So, if you're not familiar with Handy Quilter, Handy Quilter is a company that makes long arm quilting machines. So, we got to go back a little bit. I know when I, um, one of the very first quilts I ever had was a Tide quilt. Do you, have you ever seen a Tide quilt, Peter? Peter's, I have. Peter's behind the camera, so he, shout people, out to Peter. People come in looking for yarns to tie quilts with. Yes, so they would take the three layers of the quilt and they would just take a piece of yarn, tie a knot, t cut it off, and then do that all over the quilt. It worked. It was fine. It's what they had. And honestly, that was one of my favorite quilts growing up. And it's long gone. It disintegrated and fell apart. And that's part of the problem. They don't hold up to the wear and tear. Um, another way to finish a quilt is you can um, do hand stitching. And I don't know if you remember, but I can remember ladies having the great big frames and putting those frames on, put the quilts on frames. You might see that in an Amish community still. I saw it at the State Fair during Quilting Bee. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect. That's uh -huh. another example. Um, sometimes they would have them set up so they could raise them up in the air and they hang them from the ceiling and then they drop them down and do their quilting. I belonged to a church one time that they had a big quilting frame that they used. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? And I was the needle threader because my stitches were not tight enough. So they would do like 12 or 10 or 12 stitches to the inch. 10 was tolerable. 12 was best. And I could do like three three stitches to the edge. I was doing the big stitch before it was cool. So um, anyway, so that's another way to finish a quilt. And then another way to finish a quilt is on a domestic sewing machine. So you'll just take a, you know, with a real short neck of a domestic sewing machine and move the fabric around under the, 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 the needle while the machine is going. That's kind of okay, except, you know, you have this much space. They do make longer ones now. I know, um, the uh, oh, what, the name of the shop has escaped me, but he's out west. Not your average quilter is the guy. It's his handle. Anyway, he does all his finished quilting, I believe, with just a small domestic machine. Amazing talent. Super neat guy. Great shop. Shout out to him. Go visit his shop if you get a chance. But that's another way to finish a machine, finish a quilt. But the best way, in our opinion, is to use one of these Handy Quilter long arm quilting machines. And we have an event going on this week with Handy Quilter, which means the prices right now and the deals we're offering are amazing. Now the event is sold out. It's been sold out for at least a month or more. That's what happens with our events. They sell that quickly. Um, and I'm telling you that because I'm going to announce something at the end that's going to be published. And if you want to get in, you better sign up right away. Um, because our events sell out like that, our classes sell out as soon as they go, go live on our videos or live on our website. Um, and once they're gone, they're gone. And it's kind of like buying a ticket for a Colts game. Once you buy the ticket, it's yours. We don't do refunds on them because it's too complicated to keep track of. And once you buy the ticket, it's your ticket. So, And the teachers prepare. They're planning for you to be here. So if you can't come, you can give your ticket to somebody else. But we don't negotiate trying to figure out what to do with your ticket. Yeah. So um, yeah. anyway, Handy Quilter event is sold out. But you still get the really good buys and deals on the Handy Quilter machines right now. So I'm standing in front of a machine right now called the Amara. It's a 20 inch throat. And this is what I was talking about when you do it on a domestic machine. You don't have that great big space to work with. This also has some pretty incredible lighting and it has a great opportunity to really adjust the way the handles are set up. We can put this on several different tables. This is on a um, five foot frame right now, which is great for space. It's very small, doesn't take a big footprint. Um, which we love for the for to be able to quilt a, a, a quilt and not have to have a lot of space to do it in. Um, the other thing that comes with these is what's called Pro Stitcher, and Pro Stitcher is a computer program that runs the sewing machine, the quilting machine, at the same time without you having to touch it. And it gives you all kinds of designs and we've got people trained here that can show you how to make all the different designs come into this. So there's one I just picked real quick. It's just X's all over. Um, 
Here's butterflies and loops, if you can see that on the screen. And it takes that design and sizes it to fit your quilt, and then it will sew that design on your quilt. So what we've done is we've preloaded this with the batting. There's your batting. There's the back. And there's the top of the quilt. And so now my three layers are together. I'm going to quilt this entire quilt, and I'm going to take it off, and we're going to put the binding on it, and it's going to be done. So this is the icing of the cake. When you make a, a machine, when you make a quilt, this is what makes it really turn out lovely. We have been a handy quilter dealer for about 12 years now, and we love this machine. It's, we love the company. It's one of the few that's made entirely in the United States, which is a huge benefit to our economy. Um, and it's great because we can get parts in service. So we have a certified technician here for the Handy Quilter Company. And your machine, if it comes in here and gets worked on, it gets worked on here. And that's real important. When you're choosing where you're going to buy your Handy Quilter machine or any machine, whether it's a standard sewing machine or a long arm quilting machine, you want to work with a dealership that's honest, that's reputable, that has helpful people. Um, we've got, of our staff, about five people actually own handy quilter machines, so they're very comfortable and knowledgeable. Those of our staff who don't own them work in this department and are very familiar with how the programs run. So, this one's called Amara. She's 20 inches deep. There is also, uh, on display here, we have several machines. We also have the Moxie, which is this little sweetheart. She's 15 inches long from throat to needle. This one can be set up on an 8 foot frame, a 10 foot frame, or a little foot frame. So it's kind of one of these things where you want to think about, okay, I have this frame that I want this much space for, and I want this machine that will do all these things. So you pick the two things that match and we get you put together in a size machine and a size table that matches where you're trying to place your, your setup. Um, they all come available with Pro Stitcher, which is the electronic computerized version of running the machine. You don't have to get it with Pro Stitcher. You can get it so that you just free move the machine yourself, which means it's also going to have a stitch regulator in it. She's got a sold sign on her right now, but that doesn't mean anything. We can always get more. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a problem to get more in for you. There's a little bit of a learning curve on how to load it and get it put together, but if you've not looked at a long arm machine for your sewing and finishing of your quilts, I would strongly suggest that's the new thing you need to look at right now because it's super, super cool. So I want to go over, we're going to move to our notions wall and show you all the great accessories that come with the handy quilter machines as well. So come on over this way. So now you're looking at our resource center. This is all the accessories, and they go down the floor and around the corner, that go with the handy quilter machines. And here's what's cool about that. We have rulers and templates that you can use not just on your handy quilter machines. These will also work on your domestic machines. So if you've been working with another company that maybe has uh, the templates that you can use as rulers to do quilting, we have templates that work as well. These will work on any machine. Um, and we have a nice assortment and selection of sizes. And, and the other part is the Handy Quilter Company has an amazing video support for this. They absolutely, all you have to do is find the template and you can find the video support to teach you how to use that template to make the designs you want on your quilt. Feet, oh my goodness, lots of feet do lots of different things. Um, all the accessories such as scissors and tapes and those things, a lot of these are applicable not just to the handy quilter machine but also to your home machine. I love their little mini scissors. They're a set that are one of my favorites. I would probably buy these before I went somewhere. I have brands. them in my knitting bag. Do you? Yeah, they're great. They're nice little scissors. When you buy a handy quilter machine with us, you always get 20% off of any accessory you buy to go with your machine. So that's another service that we offer. As well as you get a free cleaning. Um, you also are going to get free classes to learn to use the machine. We do major events twice a year at least, 
Um, right now we have one, like I said, going on that right now as we're you're watching this video. They're in the building doing a handy quilter training event. Um, we've brought in 12 mach or six machines, and we've got 12 people in each class, and they're working with the machines and working with a national educator to learn how to operate the machines. And uh, not a lot of businesses bring or put the effort into what it takes to get that to happen. And so we're really pleased that we can offer that opportunity to our customers. We are planning for spring and fall of next year. They're going to be even bigger events, so hopefully we can get more people in because we, we sold out, sold out right away. Um, so that's what happens with those. Let, some other things that go with this that you can use. These are templates for doing pantograph work. If you've heard about pantograph work, regardless of what machine you have, you can do the pantograph work. This is an overlay piece that you can draw a design on your quilt. So let's say you're trying to figure out how to quilt your quilt. You lay this plastic on top of your quilt and you draw how you want the quilting to go and then you've got a design on how to make that happen. Um, it's just, there's so much to this that there's more than we can even probably get in what's new. Because <laughs> there's so many fun things to go with the handy quilter. The next thing we're going to want to show you is we're going to go visit our long arm studio where we have uh, set up for our staff to finish your quilts. So we're going to march on over to the long arm studio and I'm going to show you the big girl of the handy quilter family of machines. We're in our studio which is where all the long arm um, that you bring in for us to finish the quilting is done. Cindy's usually here it's her day off so there's no machine on here it's kind of you're seeing the bare bones of the machine here um, and the working part this machine is called Forte and she's the big big girl of the handy quilter family there is one above this called an infinity that is like 26 inches long and it's a pretty big girl um, but this is on a 12 foot frame which is really nice because you've got plenty of room to do really any size quilt you can imagine. There's very rare that we have one we can't put on this machine. And this makes, again, such an incredible finish. And I want you to see some of the work that Cindy has done. And she has done this, um, and she's been doing it for a while, so she's definitely got it down. But this shows you some of the detail work that you're able to do with that Pro Stitcher program that is not available when you just tie yarn through it. <laughs> this is a whole nother level. And this is the icing on your quilt. And as much as, you know, um, I want to be able to say I finished a quilt from start to beginning, I also want this icing on my quilt that looks so stunning. Um, and she's really, I love this floral kind of leaf pattern here. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Now there are people that are good enough can do that by freehand, but I always compare the long arm quilting process when you're doing it freehand to like learning to ride a bike. The first time you rode a bike, I don't know about how well you learned to ride a bike, but I, somebody just handed me a two-wheel bicycle and said, here, get on and ride. I learned by falling off and scraping up my knee and blood <laughs> running all down my legs. Exactly. And that that's, I think, how a lot of us learn. We just jumped on and you just, you know, eventually you figured out how you could turn and go at the right speed. That's how finish quilting works. You don't just sit down and start doing it and automatically can do beautiful feathers and all that. The more you do it, the better you get. Um, so if you want to do free motion quilting with these machines, that is completely doable. It's very learnable, but it's a skill. Um, if you want perfection, then you're going to want to put it into a, a pro stitcher. Um, and that's, again, we've got this event going on. So right now is the time to buy one of these machines if you even considered it. And even if you have a very small footprint, say five feet or less, we can still get you in a machine that would work and would allow you to do finished quilting. Um, so that's some of the things you can do with that. And then we need to get some shots of this beautiful Forte machine. She's, um, she just opens the door for you to be able to do so much more finished quilting. And I know Peter spent some time working on the machine. Um, it just changes your whole world as far as how you perceive quilts being finished. So I love quilting. Quilting is my superpower. I can take something and cut it into lots of little bitty pieces and sew it back together and it looks really cool. So um, my husband, one time I was knitting a pair of socks and he said to me, you know, they sell socks at Walmart. And I'm like, 
Yeah, but they're not hand knitted with every stitch being considered. And that's the same thing with your quilts. Um, it, it's a new, it's, what's new about quilting is we've gone from hand stitching and yarn tying to now computerized quilting that is amazingly gorgeous. And you can own that in your home. And I think that's something that um, if you've got the opportunity to get into it, you can. There is financing available so that they offer financing programs if you want to schedule your payments over several months. We also um, do the installation of these machines. So when you look at this great big tinker toy, it's not something you're going to be able to just set down and, and build up yourself. Our service tech comes out and sets up the machine in your home for you when you purchase it. Um, it's not opening a box and pulling it out and using it. There's a little more details involved. So. Um, I think I've talked about Handy Quilter just about to exhaustion. Um, we do have a winner from last week. We asked you to talk about what your favorite um, bowling thing was, which was off the wall experience. I loved them. I loved the answers. They were so That was good. so fun to read. Yeah, we had some great answers for that. I mean, it was, if you didn't, if you didn't read, if you didn't watch last week's or read the comments, go in and read the comments because there's some really great stories. But we picked uh, one winner, Tiffany Turcotte. I'm going to say, and I'm saying your name wrong, I'm so sorry, but Tiffany is going to win the, um, the bag, because we did everything with B, the bag with the batting, and we'll have that in our orders department if you call Bonnie or Jennifer, um, or call the shop and let them know, we'll make arrangements to get that picked up for you. So Tiffany, you're our winner. She got to meet her husband through bowling, which was a pretty good opportunity, I suppose. Maybe it was a good opportunity. <laughs> she didn't say, didn't say, but I'm sure it was. And then this week, we're going to give away this apron, just like I'm wearing. Quilting is my superpower. I, I used to, um, I found sometimes when I'm crafting, wearing an apron's a really good idea because you need to not get messy. So this is really a fun little apron to wear. It's got great pockets in it, so you can put all your, you know, all your stuff when you're sewing and like that. And uh, so we're going to give one of these away. And here's what I want you to talk about. And I, this, I think, is going to be some sweet memories. I want to talk about tell about your first quilt that you remember having and how it was stitched. Was it, was it hand stitched? Was it yarn tied? Maybe it was just a fleece one that was corners tied. Um, but talk, tell us a little bit about your first quilt and um, how you remember it and if you still have it. That would be interesting to know if you still have it. Um, mine's gone. Mine's long gone. It's, it's disintegrated and fallen apart. But um, Anyway, let's talk, let's, let's talk about your first quilt and what you remember about it. Whether you made it or somebody made it for you and things like that. And then we'll, we'll give away another. This is a pretty nice little apron. I think you'll enjoy having it. So that's what's new this week. But here's the thing I told you to wait for. Remember I told you last week I have a big announcement. Well, we've actually, so this is kind of like real television. We have filmed this a few days before Thursday because I won't be here on the actual day that this debuts. Peter, through the magic of what he does in his computer, will have this uploaded and you will see it on Thursday. But Thursday, I'm actually going to be in Houston because I'm going to the International Quilt Market with Lenine, who is our shop owner, and we're going to be shopping, buying fabric, buying patterns, meeting other vendors and, and shop owners and pattern designers and fabric designers and spending three or four days, actually we're there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so five days in the presence of the quilting industry and when we come back from that we do what's called an aftermarket party. And I almost am afraid to announce it because I know when I announce it, it's going to cause a mad dash to our website to sign up for this aftermarket party. Those of you who have attended the aftermarket party, you know it is one of the best events we do every year. Um, it's an opportunity for you to see kind of our home movies, I guess, <laughs> from us going to Quilt Market. You're going to see the really what's new because these will be things that we won't be getting until the next year. But we're going to spend those three days meeting with all these people, placing orders for things that will be coming in the shop the next year. And the aftermarket party is a chance for you to come and see what's coming and get, this is the cool part, a swag bag. And the swag bag is over the moon. Um, it's there's a small fee to attend the event, and that's just kind of earnest money to make sure you show up. But the fee that you pay is just a portion 
not even half, I would say, of the stuff you're going to walk out with. It's a huge swag bag full of fabric and samples and patterns and uh, notions and all kinds of fun little gadgets. Those of you who have been to our aftermarket parties, you know they're, they're amazing. I will tell you it will sell out. I'm going to predict 24 hours. I'm going to say 24 hours it'll be sold out. Four hours, probably. Four hours? Okay, we're gonna, yeah. we're, we'll gamble how, how quick it sells out. Four hours. But, the, but because I'm not here and he's not here and we're actually kind of in different places when this is being videoed, um, it will go live within the next 24 to 48 hours on our website. So be watching. Sign up. Pay for it. Know that it's your ticket. You can't do anything with it. Once you bought it, it's yours. But uh, it'll be a hot commodity. So that's the really big what's new. Uh, I think it's November 9th, which is a Wednesday evening, that we're actually doing the class. So that's when it'll be happening. And uh, I hope to see all of you there because it's fun to share with you our experience of going to Quilt Market. So that's all. I think I've covered it all today. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Indiana is stunningly beautiful right now. The, the uh, trees have not lost their leaves this year. We've not had rain or wind, and it is just the most beautiful fall I think I've ever seen in many, many, many years. So I hope you're getting that same experience where you are. I'm excited to fly out of Indianapolis and see from the sky what the clouds, what the uh, trees look like. So I'll, if I can get a picture, be watching because I'll be posting pictures on our Always in Stitches Insiders page about our adventure at Quilt Market. And then be sure you sign up for that aftermarket party. It's going to be a hot ticket. So thanks so much and happy stitching. <laughs>